Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Rebel Yell. To get this gun, you'll want to farm the Sky Bullies over at the Anvil. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Okay, so what you want to do is head over to the Anvil on Eden 6, and we're going to head all the way to the end of the map. Um, over here is going to be the Sky Bullies, which is a challenge enemy, so I'm going to head over and I'll meet you guys when I get there. On your way over, you will find the save station, so be sure to hit that, and so that when you save quit, you're going to spawn right there. And it's going to make it a much shorter walk to the boss. So we made it over, and you're going to find the Sky Bully right here in the room. And now, I do want to point out that during the first time you do this challenge, you will find two of these guys. After you complete the challenge, one will spawn. Alright, looks like we didn't get it, so I will keep farming. Oh, yep, that's it. The Rebel Yell. Uh, let me get a better look at it. Okay. Actually, hold on. Let me clear out the enemies real fast. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Anyways, we have the Rebel Yell. Damage seems okay. Accuracy fine. Handling mid-tier. Reload time not bad. Fire rate pretty fast. And mag size 22. Red text is when you charge, yell like furies. Bonus critical hit damage. Weapon fire rate. 1.5 times weapon zoom. And this one is anointed, but we're not going to use that for the testing. Also, this gun only comes in shock element. That is pretty unique because almost all atlas don't come in elements at all. Alright, so the gun looks pretty good. It's white with a touch of pink, and it has a carbon finish on the bottom, a small skull with a crosshair on the side. Yeah, I like it. So this gun, even though it's shock, you can see here, it will do no element damage. But the tracker darts are actually the shock part of it, uh, which I cannot demonstrate on this poster. Give me a second here. Alright, here's the Kevin. We have the no element damage from the smart bullets, and the tracker darts will actually be shock damage, which does not display on him. Weird. Yeah, I guess he doesn't register as a real enemy, so it doesn't show the shock damage. Uh, but if you go find some random mobs, it will show. So yeah, let's go show it off. Okay, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. Let's push forward. And now the tracker darts. Yeah, there we go. You can see the shock damage. And the gun is fully auto, so you can't just hold down a trigger and spam away. And the shock damage doesn't really do a ton. Um, I feel like it should do a little bit more. Now, if you want to get the most out of the gun, make sure you're sticking the tracker darts on the crit. So there we go. And now all those are going to be crits and he's dead. Cool. And the cooldown on the tracker darts is pretty fast too, so you can spam them pretty often. Also, you know tracker darts aren't required, you can just shoot it like a regular gun. But you will have to aim it. And it seems fairly accurate for hip firing too. Okay, stick the uh, the core thing. Does it not stick to it? I guess maybe it's similar to the Kevin in which, you know, it's more of an object instead of the enemy itself. So the tracker darts won't count on it. Honestly, I find it a little bit better not even to stick enemies because the tracker darts don't do a whole lot. Oh, hey. Now, it is eating through ammo extremely fast, so keep that in mind, and you are dead. Cool. Alright, final thoughts on the Rebel Yell. It is not very impressive, but it's okay. The Tracker Darts do a sad amount of damage. Now, the Smart Bullet damage is fine, but I do feel like it should be a little bit higher to compete with, you know, the Carrier and uh, Q system and other things. But like I said, this gun does get by. Overall, it's a decent choice for an Assault Rifle, but I do feel as there's better options out there. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up for yourself. You might like it, or you might not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.